Hi everybody, it's Maddie here, and tonight we're gonna to be making a lentil sloppy joes. So this is a meatless take on a typical sloppy joe recipe. We're gonna be using lentils in place of um, beef. So this is great if you're a vegetarian or if you're simply trying to um, go plant-based. So lentils are a really great source of plant-based protein and they kind of have a similar texture to, to ground beef. It's not the same, of course, but um, this recipe is really gonna show how you know plain lentils can really um, take on the flavor of all sorts of different things and really and taste super good. So our ingredients that we have here um, for our veggies, we have one um, onion chopped, one bell pepper chopped, we've got diced tomatoes. I'm using no salt added. Um, you can do like fire roasted if you wanted to, but just make sure that there are a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Then we've got our vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth if you wanted to, or beef broth, or just water. We have chili powder. We've got soy sauce, um, Worcestershire sauce, and I said that right in the first try. <laughs> Rice vinegar, some brown sugar, some um, Dijon mustard, salt, our lentils um, rinsed and drained. Um, so we're going to start here by placing one cup of our broth in a large pot. And I already have my pot um, on, you know, on medium here. So it's very hot. <laughs> and then we're going to add in our one diced onion and our one diced bell pepper. We're going to cook this for about five minutes or until the onion and the pepper soften. Yes. Okay. Okay, so my onion and pepper has been cooking for about five minutes. You want to cook it till they're about they're so till they're soft. Um, we're gonna add in the chili powder now. So I have one tablespoon of chili powder that I'm gonna add in. We're gonna mix that well. Okay. And then we're gonna add in the rest of our liquid. So whether you're using the broth or water. We're going to add in the remaining two and one third cups to this. I really like this recipe because it all just goes in one pot. And my last one third of the broth here. We're going to add in our one and a half cups of lentils. And then our one can of diced tomatoes, pour those in. And then the rest of our seasonings here. So that's going to be two tablespoons of soy sauce. And you can do reduced sodium soy sauce if you want. Soy sauce does tend to have a lot of sodium in it naturally. And then we're gonna do our two tablespoons of mustard. Two tablespoons of mustard. Two tablespoons of some brown sugar. Give it a little bit of sweetness. One teaspoon of rice vinegar, and then one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. to a simmer, you're going to cover it, and you're going to let it cook for about an hour. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so my onion and pepper has been cooking for about five minutes. You want to cook it till they're about, they're so till they're soft. Um, we're going to add in the chili powder now. So I have one tablespoon of chili powder that I'm going to add in. You're going to mix that well. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to add in the rest of our liquid. So whether you're using the broth or water, we're going to add in the remaining two and one third cups to this. I really like this recipe because it all just goes in one pot. My last one third of the broth here. We're going to add in our one and a half cups of lentils. One can of diced tomatoes, pour those in, and then the rest of our seasonings here. So that's going to be two tablespoons of soy sauce, and you can do reduced sodium soy sauce if you want, because soy sauce does tend to have a lot of sodium in it naturally. And then we're going to do our two tablespoons of mustard. Two tablespoons of mustard. Two tablespoons of some brown sugar. Give it a little bit of sweetness. One teaspoon of rice vinegar, and then one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. So those are all of our ingredients. Um, what we're going to do is bring this um, to a boil. And once it boils, you you turn it down to a simmer, you're going to cover it, and you're going to let it cook for about an hour. 